Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Trainings. My name is Faiza Alam and in this session we'll see how can we add an employee record with the help of CSV import option. In our previous session we can we have seen how uh, can we enter an employee record but that was a standalone employee record in which we have to manually enter each employee record in the application but with this method uh, we can import uh, many employee record at a time with the help of this import option but the condition for it is the file should be a csv one it will save our time and we want to uh, upload uh, when we want to do the bulk uploading so in this so at that time this method is really helpful it will save our time and the errors can also be reduced so we'll see how it is done in our netsuite application So firstly, uh, I will show you the file that I have uh, created for uploading. This is the Excel file. It contains the name, subsidiary, currency, hire date, email ID and work calendar in it. I have taken total five uh, employee record to be uploaded. These are the headers that I have taken. Now we'll see uh, where we have to go in order to upload this. So we'll go into setup, import, export, import CSV record. So here we have to select the import type first as we are importing an employee record. So we'll select employee followed by the import type. The record type is appearing here as employee. Now we will be uploading as we are uploading one file. If we want to upload multiple files, so we can select this option. So as I am uploading only one, so I will select it. Go into Here is the one. Now it is appearing. I'll click on next. So as we are adding employee under import option data handling, we are adding an employee if you are updating. So we can select this option. If we are adding or updating both, so we can select this option. And again, we have to, after this, we have to see whether the run server suite script and trigger workflow is enabled or not. So it is checked here. Now we'll click on next. So we have to map towards my uh, right side. Uh, these are all the NetSuite fields that, are, that is on the employee record. And here is the Excel file uh, import, uh, sorry, Excel file uh, fields here. So we have to import it. Higher date subsidiary is here. We'll be selecting name. So first name we'll, we'll take. Then we select name here. We also have to select the subsidiary as uh, the subsidiary. We have to provide certain default values here. So I am taking America. Click OK. Work calendar is also required to be selected. So I am providing a default value for it. Like ENT, LND work calendar. Click OK. also have to select the subs default currency email id will also be taken so we have uh, mapped it now we'll uh, click on next here we have to provide a name for our import If any description is required to be provided so we can provide it id will be automatically generated now we'll save and run so you can see that we got all the green check marks here now if we go and see and uh, upload the job status so you can see that it is processing we'll we have to click on refresh So you can see the 
import has been completed we have uploaded five records and all the five records have been uploaded if we want to see the csv response so we can open this file wherein we got the confirmation that all records have been imported successfully now as we are done with the import so we'll see where these uh, employee records have found its way so we'll go into list employee and employee So you can see that these are all the five records that I have uploaded. I do not have to manually enter each and every record. It will be, it has uh, taken, it has found its way in the application with the help of that CSV import option. It contains the email ID that is the mandatory field. Subsidiary is here, their name is here, internal ID has been generated. So in this way we can uh, uh, enter employee record in a one go with the help of CSV option. So that's all about the topic. In case of any doubts and consultations, you can reach out to us at www.biaspsolutions.com. Thank you.